organizations uh, who, came, who is working um, on this protest today. Before you here as a representative of uh, students in Ireland, but before that, a proud Palestinian that uh, unfortunately never got to live um, in his country. But um, I am here talking to a crowd that has advocated a position against war, a position against killing. This is what this crowd got known for in the world. This crowd learned from previous generations what the result of consistent oppression, of upholding a system of apartheid, could lead to. And the answer is simply a loss of deaths. A loss of lives, excuse me. Um, there's no one here in favor of that. We are, of course, in favor of liberty for the Palestinian people, equal rights for the Palestinian people, a livelihood for the Palestinian people. But are we in favor of people losing their lives? No. I think the difference between us, though, and opposing views, and this is very important, is to look at the reason why this is happening. People in there have a big, big stain of blood on their arms. Um, I think uh, the, the uh, reaction of the international community before even this started was um, outlined very nicely by our Minister for Defence. It's not my Minister. He doesn't have the mandate of the people to be doing what he's doing when he visited Palestine and said that calling the system a system of apartheid does not get us a step closer to a, to a peaceful solution. And that's why we're here today to say, recognize what has been happening for the past 75 years before giving moral lessons about how we reach liberation. This extends to Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission, again a politician lacking a mandate from people, lecturing us about democracy in other circumstances and instances. Joe Biden and his fraud administration warmongers here in Ukraine, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and every imperialist individual and government in the western part of this world that have led us to this point. They want to solve this issue, get Palestinians equal rights, dismantle the system of apartheid. I can assure you that no life will be lost after that. It's a simple answer, and we're here for that. Now the important thing, and I'm conscious that I'm here to represent students of Ireland, a generation, not all of it, majority of it, a generation that was lucky enough not to live uh, through the ugliest times um, this country has suffered. And yet, the values of standing against oppression, standing against war, are clearly apparent in the student movement and they will still be apparent in the student movement. And what we are here to say is that while we see people our age losing their lives, people in there, through their relationships in the international community, have the power to stop that. And whether they want to act or not, it's not a call for not recognizing this situation exactly as what it is. It is a people that has stood up and said enough is enough. Insan the definition of insanity is to do something once and once and once more again and expect a different result. We have cried for the international community before. We have provided the statistics, the footage of children, women and men losing their lives for no fault of their own, and they did nothing. And I think that clearly has shown to be 
a solution that doesn't get us anywhere. And I think expecting us to just stick by it and sit down, blind in our corner, although Palestinian people never did that, and we never stopped resisting, does not work. So unfortunately, this is what we've been left with. But the main point is that we are against war and we are against people losing their lives. And this is what this crowd is here to advocate for. Thank you all for coming out. We're not quite done here today. We still have a lot of work to do over the next weeks. And I hope that a bigger number of people will also show up. Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign will be organizing other protests. It's never been more important to boycott Israel. The BDS movement is one way that we can really show solidarity with the people of Palestine from here in Ireland. So our next speaker is also um, from Palestine, a student called Bara, who's going to speak to you now. Hello everybody. Obviously we appreciate you standing with us here today. I'm a Palestinian person, Palestinian female, a Palestinian woman, a Palestinian dreamer. And what we want is our freedom. Our women have been humiliated constantly. Women have been stripped down naked in public. And yet, we have not heard it on the news. Our children have been deprived from their dreams. Children go outside not sure if they're going to come home to their family, to their parents, go back to their schools. They are constantly worried. This is not about the war. It's about our women, our elderly, our children, our freedom and our dreams. We here Palestinians just have one requirement and it's our equi equal rights to stand and to speak and to be heard. And this is why all of us are here today. As you can see in the past few days, most of the people killed in Gaza were children, sick, elderly, and women. They targeted our hospitals, our ambulances, our healthcare. They targeted our schools. What we done was communication from army to army. We have not lost our humanity as they have been trying to prove. We over here, Palestinians, just want to be heard. And this is why we have come out, because we have never been heard before. I would like to thank everybody to, that is here today, and I would like to say, Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Nathan Yaho, what do you say? How many kids have you killed today? Nathan Yahoo, what do you say? How many kids have you killed today? Nathan Yahoo, what do you say? How many kids have you killed today? Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! One, two, three, four! No more. Five, six, seven, eight. Israel is a terrorist state. What do we want? Israel out. When do we want it? Now. No. no. What do we want? Israel out. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Israel out. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Israel out. When do we want it? Now. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Of. Palestine. Uh, it has been never more important to do so because uh, what we are witnessing from Israel, from the United States, from the European Union and very sadly from our own government are utterly shocking, indefensible double standards. Every day Every week, every month, for the last two years, all of those people have stood up again and again and again and said that we must support the people of Ukraine against what is undoubtedly 
a brutal, murderous, illegal invasion of their country. And all of those countries, all of those leaders, have urged support, provided armaments, missiles, cluster munitions, one of the most horrible weapons you can imagine, but they say it is justified because Ukraine is fighting against the illegal occupation of their land. And there is no question, whatever I think about NATO, and I have no time for NATO, uh, the Ukrainian people have the right to resist. But how can they say all of that and then call Palestinians who resist terrorists and criminals? It's shameful. The Palestinian, the Palestinian people haven't asked for missiles or weapons from NATO. They haven't asked for tanks or artillery. All they have asked, all they have asked is for the United States and the Western world to acknowledge that Israel is an apartheid state that is built on the systematic, ongoing, ethnic cleansing, oppression and persecution of the Palestinian people since the day it was founded. And that every And that is not just us saying that. Many of us have been saying that for many years. The Palestinians have been saying it for decades, since the Nakba in 1948. But in the last few years, we had respectable human rights organizations like Amnesty International, like Human Rights Watch, many, many others, even the UN Special Rapporteur on the Middle East, all saying that Israel has been guilty of crimes against humanity and war crimes and apartheid and ethnic cleansing and the systematic ongoing denial of the most basic human and civil rights to the Palestinian people. They have condemned rightly as a war crime and a crime against humanity the 18 year long siege of Gaza, the collective punishment of two and a half million people, attack after attack by Israel on the Gaza Strip, thousands killed, the United Nations saying that Gaza has been reduced to a state of a permanent humanitarian crisis. And what do the Western world do? Nothing. Nothing. No sanctions. No condemnation of Israeli terrorism. They refuse even to use the word apartheid. Because, according to me, Old Martin, it would not be helpful. It would not be helpful. Never mind impose sanctions. How do they expect the Palestinian people to feel other than that the Western world, along with Israel, is treating them as subhuman, as inferior, as lesser beings. That is the message that Israel sends every day, and the Western world backs that up with its support for Israel, with its arms for Israel, and for never, ever, ever taking a, a sanction. So the tragic, and it is tragic, every single lost life is tragic. Uh, but this story did not begin two days ago. This story began for Gaza at least for the last 18 years, but in reality for since 1948. Decades of oppression, persecution, relentless. Millions of Palestinians rotting in refugee camps in the most horrendous conditions. Denied their identity, denied their history in Lebanon, in Syria, in Jordan. Scattered to the winds of the world. Denied the most basic thing, an identity, a history. That is the crime that has been done to the Palestinian people. And Israel is allowed to do it with impunity. So we say, surely the Palestinian people have the same right to resist as the people of Ukraine. Surely they have the same right to resist 
as the people of South Africa against the apartheid regime or the people of this country who resisted the colonial oppression of this country. That is a, law, that is a right of even international law. So friends, we must push back. We are the people in supporting the Palestinians who want to see an end to the violence, an end to the killing. But that can only happen when we see the liberation of the Palestinian people from a regime that is based on racism, apartheid, colonialism uh, and systematic oppression. You cannot have or expect justice or peace when you treat millions and millions of people as less than human. What do they expect? So if we want to end this violence, if we want to see an end to the killing, we must. We are duty bound to stand with the Palestinian people, to support their right to resist and demand that our government and governments across the world impose sanctions on the rogue regime of Israel and until they do it, we have to build a movement on the streets that will force them to do it, just like we did with apartheid South Africa. That is the fight of our generation. Free, free Palestine! 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 From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! the world and I